Hello, everybody. I am Jen McCown. Hello, I'm Sean. What are we talking about tonight? Well, we're from Midnight DBA. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it is now something like six or five to I've lost count, but it's very close to the summit. And mm. we're talking about how not to die, essentially, at the summit. Yes. Because the summit takes a lot out of you. And since it is a conference for DBAs, and everybody always, like, talks about the worst-case scenario of what happens if your DBA gets hit by a bus, right? This is the prime All the city buses scenario. are out and revving on the street corners just waiting for us to cross the they street. They actually put so. cow catchers on the front of them. It's really weird. Yeah. So um, I put some tips on my blog. I put down stuff like, you know, try to get some sleep. I know we encourage you to go out and, like, go to social events and things like that. But that which doesn't you mean should. you have to go out and drink until 4 every night. That's another thing is, is a teensy bit of moderation. I put that on Twitter and everybody laughed at me. Yeah, I know. Okay, so passes for for the the guys that go to a lot of cons, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Passes like a big frat party all week long. Only in a good way. Well, you know, whatever, right? Yeah, um, sure. Name your own frat party. Uh, we personally don't really partake in any of that. Not much of it. I drink a little bit. I got I got no problems with some drinky drink, but but, but I don't I don't go in for the power drinking that you know the competitive drinking that these guys do you know i can drink you one on the table yeah. Is, uh, is <laughs> yeah i get it anyway hey, um, drink you onto the domains but if nothing else we've got a few of the standard things going to a conference it, it's prime territory for getting sick because you got like a several thousand people coming from all over the world bringing all of their germs yeah. to one place get some nice portable hand sanitizer yeah and use it several times a day, not yeah. only on your hands all the way up to, like, your elbows, but around your mouth and your nose and stuff, too. It really helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to develop a certain reputation, do it every single time when you shake hands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or you can get some uh, surgical gloves and just put those on mm. when you go to shake hands. But in seriousness, that's one of the things. Um, drink. You'd be amazed how quickly you, you dehydrate. Uh-huh. Um, Comfy Ugh. shoes, not pretty shoes. Get comfy shoes. Yeah, in this case, function over fashion, guys. Yep, yep. And, um, oh, well, yeah, and you've got your... Well, no, no, and, and, and there's more. There tends to be a lot of crap set out on the snack tables. Yeah. You can Delicious eat it if crap. you want. Delicious crap. But I really advise that you get over it quickly and eat as much veggies and roughage and stuff as you can to... to and now, th- this sounds funny, but, but do your best to try to stay regular because people, they, they, they go to these cons and they eat nothing but crap for a week. And by they, and then they we mean we. And then they can't crap for a week. <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> but no, seriously, I mean, try, try to eat right. It, it's, it's hard enough traveling and having all that extra activity and being around, being exposed to all of the extra germs and everything, right? Without throwing the system for, with, without clean. having, with, and have bad nutrition on top of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I've been going to cons for over a decade now, and that's one thing I've learned is you've got to have at least one really good regular meal a day. Yeah, or um, else you will Because it's really easy to just sit there and eat M&Ms and crap all day long, because I mean, you can. Yeah. No, it occurs to me that, that we are definitely in the uh, in that 35 to 45 age bracket now where yeah, we're like, eat your roughage, kids. Yeah. Um, but uh, we, we've Nothing got... beats a good pen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing does beat a good pen, by the Nothing way. Nothing does beat a good pen. The, more, the older we, I get... We'll make another video on swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the older I get, the more, the more I value my real good heavy pens, you know. You're off topic. Yes, I am. Okay, you've got, I believe... One final really good tip One <laughs> for conference going. Everybody loves this. I've got one good tip, and I'll give it to you now. <laughs> Here it is. Huh. So, yeah, this is the piece of advice that I give a lot of people, and it's, I would say, by far my most popular piece of advice, if nothing else, just because of the subject matter. It's very, very But it's also useful extremely too. useful. I discovered this after many years. The problem, and now this goes for girls and guys, right? Because it, it, yeah, okay, girls go, have have to have a, a slightly different application. But yeah, you have to have a modified version, but you'll spit you'll it get out, the man. idea. So the problem that we have is with a lot that, that we can have is with a lot of, we'll say, chafing of the undercarriage. Because you're walking around, you there's sit, a you lot stand, of walking. Sweat. There's a lot of sitting. There's a lot of sweating. There's a, I mean, it just it's is. Bad. It's the nature of of being that active in a place like that, right? Mm. 
So take yourself a get, get yourself a good can of something like Arid Extra Dry, a spray, right? A spray. If you're not familiar with the brand, that's a that's an antiperspirant. Yes, yes, yes. That is a spray antiperspirant. I don't care if it has deodorant in it or not, but a good antiperspirant. I care. And lift up your undercarriage and give it a good spray. And then the back of your undercarriage, mm-hmm. give it a good spray. We'll say your back bumper, right? Give it a good spray. Seriously, you won't go wrong. Ladies, and be a little careful of spraying your undercarriage, okay? Yeah, yeah. Say no more, say no I more. Mean, we use the Let's same go. technique when we go to Six Flags or when we go to the State Fair or any time. Because we live in Texas, and it gets like 110 here, right? So in summary, <laughs> eat lots of roughage, <laughs> spray your undercarriage. This PSA brought to you by the Midnight DVAs. Hold on, one more, one more thing. Oh, I was going to have a nice wrap-up. I know. Go, one, you go. Cu- you cut go. me off. Go. One more thing. When you're spraying, uh, spray the bottom of your feet before you put your socks on. It really helps because the, the stink in your feet from, from walking all day comes from sweating a lot. Mm. And if you cut down on the sweat, then your feet, your, your shoes won't be rancid when you take them off at night. That's it's a new just, one, It's just yet one more thing that you only get here. Now, that's true. a good wrap-up until you refuse to lean over and turn off the thing. This PSA brought to you by the Midnight DBAs.